Hi, uh, my name is Dave Casuto from San Francisco Computer Tutors, and in this tutorial we're going to show you how to create a frames-based website using Dreamweaver. And what we want to do is go to our Layout tab, and then come all the way to the right, and you'll see, when you move your mouse over, it says Frames. And we're going to go ahead and choose the different frame that we want to have. So you have all these different choices, left frame, right frame, and see so it gives you a nice little preview of what each of them is. Okay, so the little white on the, on the left, that's where your frame is, okay, and then etc. You see it for all the rest of them. So what we're going to choose is the left and nested top frame. And then a window is going to pop up. It's going to say, okay, so for, um, for accessibility attributes, what are you going to call it? So just go ahead and for each frame, specify a title, and you'll see here that they all have left frame, top frame, and main frame. And you can even see how it corresponds on the right hand side, top frame, main frame, and um, left frame. So we're just going to keep it as is. Okay, now at this point what you want to do is you want to basically save all and give them each a name. So we're going to go to File and then do Save All. And you see here now the first part is going to be just basically general. And you can see here um, around the perimeter of our window it actually has encapsulated the, the entire frame set. So this is Untitled Frame Set. So we're just going to call this, okay, we'll call this About Us Frame. And I'm going to click Save. And now notice where the box has gone to. So that's going to be our body. Okay, click on Save. Okay, we're going to replace. We've got one already that's, that's called body. All right, and then we're going to call this Top Frame. Click Save. And this is going to be Left Frame. And go ahead and click Save. And now we're ready to go. So it's going to be really beneficial for you okay, as you're moving along to actually have everything named out like that. So now we have these different frames here. So um, for the left hand side what I want to do is I actually want to put in my navigation. Okay, I'm just going to put in like home, okay, about us, okay, maybe just about for right now just for the sake of this, okay, and then we're going to put in um, services, okay, and then contact. So in a moment I will show you how to how adjust the frames as well. Okay, so now we're going to also bring in an image from here. So we'll go ahead and bring in an image just like we normally would. So let's get all our stuff out of here. So let's go back to common and then insert image up here. And then let's go ahead and bring in our image. Let's find where our folder is. Desktop. Story Street. And then we have our logo here. Choose. Okay, the file is outside of the root folder. Okay, so that's, that's fine, because we're now just starting a brand new one. This is in um, a root folder that was created before, so we're just going to go ahead and copy it to the one we're creating now. So we'll say yes, all right, and then copy file as, exactly how it is right there, and then click OK. Give it alternate text, okay, story street, okay, leave the long description blank, and then there it is. So now I'm just going to drag this down and make a little more room for it. With frames, now that I've got this long text that I've actually pasted in here, that I can now scroll down and look what happens. See? On the left hand side, my frames remain static. Okay, they may remain frozen. So my users don't have to actually lose sight of the links here. So let's go ahead and preview that in the browser and see what that looks like. Now it says the frame, fi frame set files and frame Frames files need to be saved before previewing the browser. Click OK to save the files. Okay, that's fine. You can also say don't warn me again, but it will just continue to save it for you. And now, here I am looking at my site, and then I have my scroll bar on the right-hand side, and look what happens. As I scroll down, this remains the same. Okay, so this is a very basic version of how you would use it, but I'm sure you could see how you could use it on your own. Okay, well, that concludes our tutorial on creating frames-based websites using Dreamweaver. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Once again, my name is Dave Casuto from San Francisco Computer Tutors, and you can look me up on Yelp.com under San Francisco Computer Tutors, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.